LFTC presents the VK411. My name's Tony. And I'm Michelle. And we're going to be your cruise director today as we show you some of your must needs and wants for your next cruise. We're going to go ahead and start off with the space saver. Now this is for your clothes when you're packing into your suitcase. What's wonderful about this, honestly, is it's a little vacuum pump vacuum pump that you don't have to have a vacuum for so it takes care of all of that really really nice you pack your clothes in it it saves space not just a clever name in your suitcase mm -hmm. and then what we used it for was dirty clothes yeah instead of piling all your dirty clothes up because we don't want to do laundry on the boat mm -hmm. we stick it all in here suck all the air out clean clothes dirty clothes don't touch can't smell nothing save space good to go <laughs> And of course, with that, you're putting it into your suitcase. And Tony? I'm gonna show you a couple products from Soulguard. This is the backpack. What we like to do is, in the front here, when you, first and foremost, is use your pockets for your passport books and cards and such, and other stuff that was that's in right, there. That's all right, that's all right. We have our passports where you actually put in your, like your, what is it, vaccination card? Obviously your passport, and we got a passport card, so it's, you know. It's a holder for your passports and your vaccination cards, because you're gonna have to show this mm -hmm. at the port, sometimes uh, when you go to a shore excursion and stuff. And we just throw it right up here, because it's really kind of stinks when you're just fumbling around everything, trying to figure out where it is. Put it right here, you're good to go. Right, it now, makes getting onto the, um, to the boat quick. Soul Guard suitcase. Yep, another suitcase. What makes this suitcase so special? is this, it's a hanging closet. What you do is you put all your clothes in here, use the compression straps, compress it down, stick it into the suitcase, saves time, saves space. Then when you get to your hotel and on the cruise ship, all you do is pull it out, hang it up, you're unpacked, ready to go. Again, if you wanna see a review on this, click this link up here above, show you all about it. The luggage dolly. This thing is great because most people like to bring a 12 pack, well you can bring a 12 pack per person of soda. Mm -hmm. So how are you gonna carry that on? Cause it has to be in the container. We pile it up all on here, throw some bungees around it, and it's easy carry on, carry off. These are highly recommended as well. As you can see it folds into hardly anything, so you just slides right underneath the bed, no worry. And of course, you're gonna need a luggage tags. These luggage tags I highly recommend because we print these off to get onto the um, boat, but these are like metal, so they will not tear, break, or anything like that. And it keeps it waterproof. And it's waterproof, so they won't get all messed up. All right, so your room's ready now. You go down to your room, you get your key out of the mailbox, because that's where they're leaving them now. Get you a lanyard, and not just a lanyard, but one that has a retract, it's a retractable lanyard. Yes. Because when you're buying stuff on the boat, they just scan it, you're good to go. When you're getting into your room. You have to put this inside your door to get into your room as well, so this is perfect. Yeah, you don't wanna keep taking this off. People mm -hmm. lose their cards all the time. Just get a retractable lanyard and you're good to go. You will thank us. Yeah. Okay, ladies, I have a product for you that you're gonna love. It's gonna save space, it's gonna make you look great. And what could it be, Michelle? Gee, I wonder what. A little travel size curler. Look how cute those are, little travel curlers. <laughs> they are really cute, and they are part of the space saver as well. Yeah. You want to save as much room because you do not have much room in those cabins. And when you get on your shore excursion, you're going to buy a lot of t-shirts and a lot of junk, so you're going to need to have more room. Yes. These are a must for fancy night when you're out on the boat. Why am I talking about them? Because I bought them for her and I was right. She loved them. I did. <laughs> they were great. And then, of course, once we are on the boat, before we start to sail away, you'll definitely want some of these. And I highly recommend them because I do get seasick. These are sea bands. You put them on your wrist. They're like an acupuncture, basically. They put them right there on the wrist where you have the little white thing here on both wrists. And actually, they, work. <laughs> they really work well because I never once got sick. Even when it got a little rocky, perfect. No and she, problems. And she gets seasick, or no, she gets motion sickness just driving down the street. Um, we were on a pretty rough cruise, not this last one, but a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. We threw these on and we were good to go. I don't like the little ear patches because I think they smell funny. I know that sounds weird, but I don't like the smell. Maybe it's the ginger or something. It just doesn't it smell good. And if I try, I tried the motion sickness pills and I was burping grass the whole time. It was gross. Those bands work. Next on the list, power adapters. Look, our, on the Carnival Glory, there was one plug. You had two European plugs, but one plug. 
So must-haves are power adapters. We'll leave a link in the box below. In fact, all the products will have a link in the box below. If you don't buy anything else, buy these. You're gonna have one plug. This gives you make gives you three plugs. This makes you have four plugs. Plus it has the USBs for charging your phones. And these are the European ones. The European ones. Go ahead and grab a couple. They're only like 15 bucks on Amazon. Better and, safe than sorry. Yeah, because there's no plugs in the bathroom. At least there wasn't any plugs in our bathroom, except for a European plug. So throw this in there. At least if you have an electric razor or mm -hmm. curlers or whatnot, you have a plug and then next to it, Next to the plug in the desk was another European one. Well, plug it in, you have a whole bunch of plugs. Get plugs. Definitely. And it can't be power surge protect either. These are approved for cruise ships. So you're gonna have a little downtime on the boat or you're waiting for your room. I can't tell you how many times somebody stopped us and said, oh, do they have those in the library because they have a bunch of games and such or in the gift shop? They don't. We love Uno. It's an easy game to play. People were wanting to play with us. So bring a deck of Uno cards. I'm, Trust me, you'll be glad you did. And of course, this is a must, must, must have. Tony. <laughs> I'm a must have? Yay! Oh, she's talking about the poopery. Yeah, because you know, what's the number one thing you do on a cruise ship? You eat. Well, what happens Not when you- Not number one. <laughs> what's the number two thing you do? You use poopery. Trust me, shake it up a couple times, three, or, three to five squirts in that toilet. Your people in the cabin will thank you. The people next door will thank you. Trust me, this is a must have. It's a marriage saver. Next, and these are definite must haves. These are magnetic hooks because your walls, ceiling, everything in your room are magnetic. You can place these anywhere and you can hang up your bags and such. And we use them for hanging up our hats because we have a lot of hats in the room. Um, we hang our lanyards on them at night so we know where they are because your room's gonna get messy. You think it or not, but they, look, look at this picture right here. It's gonna get messy. So we hang these on the wall. They're close quarters. I mean, yeah. it's, it's small. So we hang these on the wall. We hang everything we need up on these. They're up and out of the way. You know where they are. These are another must have. So no matter what blog you're on, no matter where you are on Facebook or on the internet, the number one question always is, can I bring a fan? Absolutely, you can bring a fan. We have to bungee these to the suitcases, but this is the fan I always take. I love this fan. Until the last cruise. Well, first and foremost, these are great fans. You can plug them in. You can use the battery to charge it, but they're heavy, they're bulky. Remember, we're trying to save space. So last cruise, we read it about the Venti fan. See, it already comes in a nice little Space saver, so you know, big difference between the small Ryobi fan I took. And we can put that right in the suitcase. Right in the suitcase. So what makes this fan so special for us is it extends up to three feet, so you can put it at the edge of the bed or you can put it on the nightstand. Now it doesn't make a lot of noise when it's going, which is fine with us because we have the TV on anyways, but a lot of people like to have the ambient noise and the white noise or whatever it's called in the background. But it's pretty quiet as you can hear. That's full blast. Now, of course you can't feel it, but trust me. Oh, look at that, I can't even put my hand in front of it, it's blowing so hard. But what Michelle loved about it was the room gets dark at night. Hi, ah, it's a night light too. It gets pretty bright too, but you know, nothing worse than stumbling around a room at nighttime when it's really dark. This gives you a nice little bit of light if you don't sleep with the TV on like we do. And you have your fan. This thing is great, it's rechargeable, lasts all night. I don't know how to turn it off. There it is, the venti fan. It's a must have. Out of everything we had, this was one of Michelle's favorite things. I know it sounds silly, but this really was a lifesaver. Go ahead. The over the door shoe organizer. We would put it in the bathroom, fill it full of shampoos and everything you would normally, all your toiletries basically. Everything, and it's see-through so you can see everything that you have here. You put your medicines, you put whatever you need that you have in the bathroom normally. Right here, easy access. Yeah, because there's not much there's not much room in these showers. So if you put it on the door, this is right next to the shower. I can just grab my shampoo for my hair, my conditioner from oh wait, for my shampoo and my hair and conditioner. Yes, and they do have shampoo and soap in there, but I prefer because it kind of dries my skin out. I prefer my own. You can do whatever you want, but I mean that is a lifesaver when you don't have much room. This is amazing. Yes. And of course, you definitely don't want to forget your lip balm. I love my Burt's Bees, so that's a definite must have. You're gonna be in the sun a lot, so definitely. And to add to that, we've got a huge bag here. <laughs> that's our shore excursion bag. <laughs> but yes. it, is, it is very handy. 
I have my hats in here that are, you know, you can crush them up, throw them in there, whatever, you know, that's his, that's mine. And mine, I like mine because I can put my hair in a ponytail and be totally like, you know. She put her hair through there with her ponytail on so she can have a ponytail. No, so it covers my face because I don't want to like get sun on my face. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> also, this is another must have, honestly. You're going to be in the sun a lot, especially we went to Mr. Sancho's and everything. And we're pasty. This is, this is what a U, what is it called? It's called an SPU, I believe. It's like SPU. SPF is when you have a suntan lotion or sunscreen. When it's clothing, I think it's called SPU. So that's the equivalent of SPF 50. Put it on, you're good to go. That's definitely a yeah, must have for swimming, really for swimming wise. And then of course we had our nice, awesome towels that I love. Let me tell you about these. These are the Echo Sophie towels. They're microfiber towels. Instead of taking the beach towel out of your room because they will charge you if you forget it and they're not cheap. Mm -hmm. We take these. It's the size of a beach towel. It's very soft. It has micro somethings in it. I don't know the whole story on this thing. I'll leave a link so you can read about them. But you know, ocean water, we haven't washed these since we've been in the ocean. There's no smell. You know how bad that smells in your car. It dries off really easy. These towels are amazing. They compact, as you can see, they fit right in here. And of course, to go with those towels, I have towel clips. They go right onto the chair so that your towel does not blow away. That's important because, you know, especially if you have a balcony, you don't want your towels blown away. Or when you're at Mr. Sancho's or wherever you're at at the beach, you don't want it to blow away either. But I also got these uh, bands too. And I'm thinking those are a little bulkier. This kind of like packs a little bit better, but these go over. Same concept. Same but the way concept, they but they go, hey. <laughs> but these are fun. <laughs> those are fun. And if you're in the cruising world, you know what that means. <laughs> no. And of course, while you're on the beach, I suggest one of these. <coughs> now we saw these on the um, cruise ship selling for 50 or 50 $60. bucks, $49. These are little snorkel things, and they don't let the air in. These snorkel are, things. It's a mask a snorkel and snorkel mask. that fits all over your whole, your whole face. Your whole face. And it's um, a no fog and everything. These are awesome. Like and a, they're compact, and they come in a little bag. It's yeah, awesome. and, they, and they sell them for 50 bucks. We got it for like $30 and some yeah. change we'll, on Amazon. We'll leave a link on that. So. Everything will have a link. Definitely. And of course, since you're going to be out in that sun, you need your aloe vera. You need some gel because you may get burnt and this will cool it off. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, hey, this is all common sense stuff. Trust me, you'd be surprised how many people forget lip balm and there's $6 for one on the cruise ship. Don't forget it, buy it at Walmart, you get a three pack for that. So that's why we're telling you about the simple stuff. Okay, we went on a zip lining excursion in the rainforest. Belize, yeah. In Belize. Let me tell you, this stuff right here was a lifesaver. Everyone around us had that deep spray off stuff. It's deep for uh, the deep, deep whatever forest it was. off or whatever uh, the deep. I am a bug magnet. They love me. They bite me. They hate me. Okay, whatever. <laughs> love hate relationship. This stuff, not one bug got on me. They would zoom by me and go away. The people that were with us were even like, hey, they had the deep woods off. That's what we were trying to say. They were using deep woods off and they were getting bit up. We had this on, not one bite from anybody that was using it. And of course, my bag. I love this bag. It carries everything I need, as you can see. It's awesome. And, we got and that it zips off of up. Amazon. Yeah. And it zips up. I love it. A lot of people, a lot of those don't zip up. Yes, this is so nice. I love it. Now I show you one of Michelle's favorite things. And I showed you what one of my favorite things. But what was our favorite thing? Now you're not gonna take that with you. The only place you can get this is in the ports or on the ship when you're in the Caribbean. It's the white Hennessy. They sell out super quick. It's expensive, it's delicious. And it's one of our must-haves for the cruise. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for what we have. If there's something we forgot, because nobody said we know everything, we just know this stuff made our cruise a lot more enjoyable. Yes. Leave a comment down below and let us know maybe what we forgot so we can try it out on the next video. Thanks a lot. And happy cruising. Bye. Bye.